Hi, it's Dwyer, RichardDwyer.com. Today is Sunday, August the 5th, 2018. Let's talk cryptocurrency. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, <clears throat> cryptocurrency over the last four or five months has been getting decimated. It's been awful if you are a crypto investor. But let's back up a few years before that. Some of you may have come across videos I made a few years ago in which I was talking about a coin called Dark Coin. Right, a coin that later became Dash, that later made holders a lot of money. At the time I was talking about it, Dash was below $5 a coin. Folks, the videos are still up here on YouTube. Right, even in this terrible market, Dash is above $200 a coin. Right, hopefully you made several thousand dollars investing in Dash. Now, as I like to remind viewers, the head of Dash at the time that it came up with the master note concept was Evan Duffield. He's still actively involved with Dash, folks. At the time he debuted the master node system, which now is being copied by several coins, the price of Dash remained flat. It went nowhere. And this was with one of the biggest innovations, quite frankly, ever in the cryptocurrency space. The market did not realize the upside, right? Non-believers just weren't thrilled. The debut of masternodes didn't convince them to invest in Dash. Well, let's fast forward to today, right? Just understand that the last five days in cryptocurrency have been among the most important in the history of cryptocurrency. You've had some developments that quite frankly, like the debut of the masternode concept, which no doubt have made some of the people watching this video hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Passive income that's recurring on a regular basis, just like the masternode system may have been one of the biggest financial developments of your life as a cryptocurrency investor. I'm just telling you that what's happened in the last five days, this is in the middle of a tsunami that's wiping out cryptocurrency, that has the price being flat as I make this video. I'm just telling you the last five days have set up crypto investors to make obscene amounts of money. Let's touch on some of them and let me just say I have a little blog I keep that really is just a series of feeds on cryptocurrency where I just mark and highlight some major cryptocurrency stories, right? It's free. It's keepingitfree.blogspot.com, right? Again, keepingitfree.blogspot.com. It's a blog I really made for myself to keep on top of crypto news and then I noticed other people started finding it online. So now it's had more than 300,000 views, right? Going back a few years. Okay, great. I hope you use that site as a resource to keep track of your favorite cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Monero, Tron, Cardano, right? Just keep an eye on that side so when a story breaks, like the ones I'm about to talk about that the public seems asleep on, you'll know about it. So you can jump in quickly, so you can get 
ahead of the curve. Let's talk about the big developments that have taken place literally in the last few days, in the middle of an ongoing bear market. First, the Intercontinental Exchange. Yes, I'm talking about the owner of the NYSE. Right? Does it get bigger than that? Right? The Intercontinental Exchange has announced that they're building a new digital asset cryptocurrency platform called BACT. B A K K T. Right? Again, that's BACT. B A K K T. I want you to Google it. Get as much information as you can. Because this platform, from the owner of the New York Stock Exchange, is going to facilitate and give credibility to institutional currency, excuse me, institutional custody of cryptocurrency. Right? Understand, too, that Starbucks, you know them is going to be a flagship retailer for this program. Right, folks? Starbucks is all over the United States. Now, what this means is that your local friendly hedge fund, your 401k, your pension plan, now has a credible, known entity right? The Intercontinental Exchange that's going to help them invest in and adopt cryptocurrency. What it also means is you're going to go into a coffee house and Starbucks is going to be actively assisting you in your use of cryptocurrency to buy Starbucks coffee and food and products. Right, folks? This is huge. Understand, <laughs> the real money is institutional money. Cryptocurrency so far has been surviving on just the money from individuals. If pension funds and hedge funds now realize that they could invest in cryptocurrency without needing to know how to store it, right? With being able to trust a platform like BACT, again, that's B-A-K-K-T, to handle all of the storage components of cryptocurrency, then in this world, where pension funds are struggling to pay their beneficiaries and where cryptocurrency, Bitcoin for example, is only owned right now according to Gallup by about 2% of the population. As people start to use cryptocurrency and as the rate of return on cryptocurrency exceeds traditional assets as Dash has over the last few years by a wide margin, then just this development alone is an absolute game changer. Folks, this news by itself is some of the biggest news to hit crypto since the development of the blockchain. Well, let's go further. Another big disclosure of news is Coinbase's announcement that they have released a WooCommerce plugin that will allow not 49,000, but 49 million, again, 49 million online stores to accept payments of Bitcoin. Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. 
Again, that's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Right now, understand, WooCommerce powers over 28% of all online stores. Understand, too, that the types of cryptocurrency that Coinbase is going to be allowing people to use through the WooCommerce plugin is going to increase. In fact, within the next few days, Coinbase is going to embrace Ethereum Classic. Right? So, my point to you is you're going to have much greater folks, I'm talking about much greater access to cryptocurrencies, both as a merchant and as a customer. In fact, the WooCommerce plugin has already been released. Let's go further with Coinbase because they dropped another bomb. And again, these bombs, which have just been disclosed, are each some of the biggest developments in cryptocurrency. In other words, this terrible summer for cryptocurrency investors, looking back a few years from now, might be the best time for cryptocurrency investors as they look back on all the profits. In other words, this is, to paraphrase Dickens, to change the quote, this is the worst of times. This is also the best of times. Just like Dash people look back at the birth of the master node as being the start of an incredible bull run that they're still on. Understand many holders of these cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, are going to look back at this time and say, my God, that's when the world changed. Coinbase. Let's get back to them. They've announced custody plans for 40 digital assets, including the coins I've mentioned and many other significant players in the space, including Monero, including Dash, including Telegram. Now, how big is this news? When I talk about institutional money, what I want to do is to just tell you the buy-in, right? The setup fee for this program is $100,000. The minimum amount of crypto that you have to invest to be part of this program is ten million dollars right the management fee is one-tenth of one percent so just understand right now if you're a big pension fund coinbase is telling you Set up an account with us. We'll give you access to Dash. Folks, had you had access to Dash three years ago, just imagine where your pension fund would be right now. It'd be overflowing. Right? The beneficiaries would have a surplus. The benefits would be far higher than they are right now. Now, just consider the fact that the stock market, according to many metrics, is overbought. Look at the Warren Buffett indicator, for example. Right? Think about the fact that real estate right now is imploding. It's retreating in places like Vancouver and Seattle, just to name one part of the world where real estate has been on fire, right? 
Look at real estate trends in Southern California. Now my point to you is if you're a pension plan provider and you're looking for a rate of return, are you going to get it in the next few years from either the stock market or real estate given current trends? At a minimum, if you're aggressive and you're going to look for other assets that might help you pay beneficiaries, right? You now have access through this Coinbase custody program to invest in things like Dash, the setting up of a master node that kicks off passive income every 8 to 12 days. Right? I believe this is going to be a situation where the courageous lead the timid. Where money managers are going to be hesitant until they see their colleagues taking the jump. Then it's going to be an avalanche. Understand, right now, you have a publicly traded company, Neptune Dash, that's out there buying Dash Masternodes. And would it shock you to believe that Fidelity Investments, big name, big name, has quietly acquired 15% of Neptune Dash? Folks, that's the way the world is going. Serious players are taking advantage of this market downturn. And all I'm saying here is that this news from Coinbase, like the news from the owner of the NYSE, is huge. Coinbase is telling you, pay a $100,000 setup fee. Make a commitment of at least $10 million. And we'll give you access to the upside and the downside of cryptocurrencies like Dash. Monero, etc. Finally, let's talk about Dash. Now, if you think I'm biased toward Dash, you're right. Dash has been good to me. Dash, simply put, continues to be, as I've said in earlier videos, the best run, the best managed cryptocurrency. Well, let me just say, just imagine, you're in a third world country. Let's name one, Venezuela. By the way, understand, Dash is the leading cryptocurrency in Venezuela. Google it. Right? View this video as just an invitation for you to do your own due diligence. Now, you know the local currency in Venezuela is undergoing massive inflation to the point where people are drawing analogies to the Weimar Republic. In fact, if you look at the numbers, Venezuela is worse off than the Weimar Republic was. Right? Now, let's say in this setup, you've taken some of your assets out of Bolivar-denominated currency, the local currency that is imploding, and let's say that you have tossed it toward some dash. Now you have a mobile phone, but it is not a smartphone, right? You want to send or receive some dash. Believe it or not, you can now do so by text. You don't have to have a smartphone. Think about that, folks. You don't have to have a Dash wallet. You can send and receive the cryptocurrency by text. Let me just say this, and I don't say it lightly. Because we're talking about digital assets, this technology is going to spread to other coins. 
right, in parts of the globe right now that are underserved, that are dealing with central banks that aren't the best, right, that are making mistakes. And I would argue that that's every central bank, right? In parts of the world where the currency is unstable, the ability to send and receive cryptocurrency by text, I believe over time, where I'm able to just know the phone number of someone, punch it in and send them cryptocurrency. It's going to make cryptocurrency extremely attractive, right? Extremely attractive. Understand, there's a world outside of the United States, Japan, South Korea, and Europe that's dealing with unstable currencies. Many people living in the countries that I've just named believe they're dealing with unstable currencies. But there's situations like the situation in Venezuela right now that need a solution. And understand what cryptocurrency does is it provides that solution at lower transaction costs than traditional fiat currency. Understand too, cryptocurrencies with limited supplies, Dash for example, where there's a set limit on the number of Dash that will ever be issued, are going to retain their value much better than unlimited fiat currency like the boulevard, right? You're not subject to political whims. Some leader deciding he needs to goose the economy to get by an election or another moment in time, a national holiday, etc. right? With cryptocurrency, you're talking about market-based currency of limited supply depending on the cryptocurrency, right? Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, etc. Right? Depending on the cryptocurrency, and you need to research each individual cryptocurrency. Right? You're talking about market-based currency that's outside the political whims of local central banks and leaders. Currency that you can send at a cheaper cost than a Visa transaction or a MasterCard transaction using a phone that doesn't have to be a smartphone with nothing more than the phone number of your recipient. Right? The last five days in crypto have been groundbreaking. What I want you to do as you look at the relatively flat or declining crypto prices of the last few weeks is to also look at the technology and the utility, the value it has created. Folks, it's mind-blowing. Let me just say too, the backed system that I talked about earlier from the owner of the NYSE is scheduled to debut in November. Now understand the way things work. If I'm a financial player, if I'm a pension fund, and I understand that some event that's scheduled to happen in just a few months is on the calendar, then I'm going to buy the rumor. I'm going to be prepared for the possible upside. Right? Just like if you know a Fortune 500 company is going to debut a highly profitable product in a few months. Just like you would buy that company today because you want part of that upside. I'm just telling you the news here about the back system that's coming in just a few months is going to eventually give the cryptocurrency market huge upside, right? Understand too, much of what I've talked about today, right? Coinbase's custody program, it's here right 
now. So, just as I did years ago, in talking about Darkcoin and Dash, I want to encourage people to give cryptocurrency a very hard look. In particular, look at what the owner of the New York Stock Exchange is doing. Look at what Coinbase is doing. And look at what Dash is doing with Dash Text, right? Folks, that's the tip of the iceberg. Cryptocurrency has come of age. Institutional investors are now seated at the table. The upside at a time when only 2% own Bitcoin, the flagship cryptocurrency, is huge far beyond what I can say in this video, right? Think it through, give it a look. Thanks for stopping by.